Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is spiritually gifted here. <clears throat> I'm stepping in and giving you guys a reading. It's actually a continuation. Um, a continuation of the divine counterparts and se separation. Um, I do apologize. Uh, Sometimes I, you know, some other things start coming about and I have to attend to them. Um, but I was going, um, doing my normal little thing as far as getting set up for you guys' messages. And there was some energy coming in. That's why I always feel like. A lot of things will take place and a lot of um, subscribers, um, even me back in the day, I used to wonder what would happen to the cutoffs when readers do them. And you end up finding out that it was actually for a reason. And the reason I say that is because there were some things um, else that needed to come out. and. You know, Holy Spirit always do certain things for certain reasons, okay? Whew. So, divine counterparts and separation. As I was shuffling the cards um, to get your messages out, I, I kept seeing courthouse, okay? Courthouse kept coming out, and the Holy Spirit was placing on my heart, too, that someone was either locked up at this present time and keep in mind loves um to those of you that come by whether you're a subscriber or someone just just tapping in and wanted to see what's going on and what type of energy because maybe um some of my messages um resonate with you previously before what i picked up is that if this is not you uh viewer it can be someone that you know um i'm also picking up that this is possibly a lover um, who possibly is in jail at this current time and they're about to get out of jail. Um, they could have been doing time for a little while and then come to find out that this person was set up by a past ex-girlfriend or lover or somebody that they was messing around. This could have been a little booping, a sad chick. It could be a bitter baby mother that falsely accused um, the father of molesting their daughter. And I was like, whoa, oh my God, okay. Um, then, um, spirit, I kept looking down at the decks, you guys, okay, that I have here. And spirit kept leading me, because my favorite color is canary yellow, okay? And it's similar here to this color here. It's so beautiful. I wish you guys can see it. Hold on a minute. Let me give you guys a little bit of the light. Because I know sometimes that makes a big difference. So, if anybody ever paid attention that I always do my nails, and it's always in a canary yellow uh, color, okay? And if you guys can see this, I wish you can tell how it glistens. If you can see it. It's like a, a metallic gold color, okay? And I forgot if it was here or here, but it was sitting there and the Holy Spirit kept making me look at it. And I'm like, why do I keep looking at this deck? And I'm telling you guys, I kept feeling prison. Um, and then I was shuffling this deck as I was doing it. And it had um, Privileged lady, great fortune, unexpected income. Wow, this is actually what was coming out. Toil and labor, judication. And what was the other one, spirit? Oh, message. Oh my God, this is awesome. I could, and despair. So these were the exact cards that I kept seeing as I was shuffling them, okay? So, and ironically, I'm like, oh my God. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. And... Spirit just made me remember. <laughs> it was the child one. Yeah, and child. And I picked up little girl. Okay, I'm feeling so emotional right now. Okay, so I feel this is either one of you's relative, either a brother for some of you, and for
for some, I also feel that this is a lover. You could have just started dating this person. Y'all haven't been together no more than two years is what I'm feeling. But he walked away from the baby mom quite some time ago, you know? And this child could be three or approximately four or three have gone to the uh, four years of age. And when I kept picking it up, you guys, oh my God. And I kept picking up that this person was wrongly accused. Um, then a great deal of despair, you guys, because I seen a person behind prison or either going to a prison. For some of you, the person could already be in prison. For many of you, the person could be going to prison because they was falsely accused of molesting their daughter or a stepdaughter, okay? And I'm like, oh my God. So I kept shuffling the decks. And remember when I said Holy Spirit kept guiding me to the deck? I kept seeing that color. I'm like, wait a minute, why do I keep looking at that as I'm shuffling? And I kept channeling. Spirit just kept channeling this for me. And look, lo and behold, I picked the deck up and something guided me to look at it. I don't know why, but it's Horus. And it says, you are, you are seeing the situation accurately. You are seeing the situation accurately. And I'm like, holy sh... Okay, holy... Yeah. I'm trying not to use so much profanity, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I also seen this at the bottom of the deck, Sugar Daddy. So, I don't know if this is someone's Sugar Daddy or the baby mama was using the father um, for finances, whatever the case may be, loves. But what's going to happen is that some type of evidence is going to come about. Um, I do believe the baby mama, I feel is strongly coached the little girl um, to say that daddy hurt her. Daddy hurt her. And it's something with the psychiatrist is going to pick up something. Um, and she's going to notice if the little girl looks at the mom. And notice that getting the recorders, because you don't have to record those sessions. And the psychiatrist is going to pick that up. And somehow the camera is going to be angled on the mom, you guys. And it's going to pick up that the mom is nodding her head and coaching the little girl to say things, okay? And, um, by the grace of God, it's going to be, see, adjudication is coming out again. Holy shit. Oh, my God, Spirit, thank you. Look, you guys. I was just shuffling it, right? Adjudication. And imprisonment that's confirmation thank you spirit thank you so much oh my goodness you guys that's gonna be what's gonna um they're gonna find out that the mom had something to do with this okay and <laughs> and this young lady was expecting something more from the father and I feel like she wanted the father to um beg her not to send him to prison but it wouldn't have been nothing she can do anyway so I don't know what she was thinking but she thought she had this all planned out yeah expectation is still here at the bottom of uh, at, actually at the top of the deck I was going to say the bottom of the deck um she felt like he left her but from what I'm feeling <laughs> they were really never technically together I feel like for some of them there was a one night stand and the mother the um the child's mother got pregnant and he was just doing his fatherly duty by taking care of his child. And he kept it, you know, uh, not, I, I don't wanna say professional, cause they couldn't have been at work for me to say professional, but he kept it in a mature like manner, staying respectful. Yep. <laughs> Some of them could have met the person working, occupation. I just happened to look down and that was confirmation from spirit. Um, also, what I'm feeling, damn, the occupation is still there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Spirit, I love you guys so much. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, some of them could have been married, you guys, because every time a spirit pulls out multiple cards, they're giving me uh, a scenario for someone, and it should resonate, okay? Um, so, we have courtship, official person, community, message, and gift. So I, I do feel like for some of you, this person could have met someone at work. Um, 
for some, it could, they could have been married. I am picking up that this person could be a police officer or someone in uh, law enforcement. They could have had a family together and this person walked away and um, the wife, the mother, um, they could possibly had a son. Somebody had a son also. And they received some, um, the, the person that the uh, official person decided to go to was with someone else and won a divorce from the, the wife to be with someone else. Um, but the thing is, this person wasn't with the wife any longer. They were um, actually separated and in the process of getting a divorce. And that's how this official person met someone new. And I feel like somebody's about to get a message. It's an official message is what I'm hearing, an official message. And it's actually going to come right on time. Some of you could be getting a phone call from someone from prison. <gasps> Whoa, holy stuff. Look, y'all. <laughs> as soon as I said it, a call from somebody in prison. Imprisonment. Look at this person. <laughs> Spirit does not play. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. <laughs> Also, I feel like this person that went to prison or that is in prison, whoever you are, love, that is um, viewing this message, I feel like this person is going to, it's like they fallen in love with you all over again, um, is what I'm feeling. Their heart is like palpitating. Um, they could, um, I don't want to say suffer from hot flashes, but get hot flashes, and because cause that's what I'm feeling right now. And... Um, it's amazing. I don't want to, I was just about to say something, but I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> but this person thinks about you a lot and they do appreciate you. Um, they feel like you're their backbone and you know, or should I say knew all along that they didn't do this. And you both knew that the, um, the wife had something to do with it. And for some of you, the baby mama, the bitter baby mama. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Look at that. Looks, I was going to say look spirit. Do you guys see this? Adjudication to get in marriage. So this double confirmation, and it was meant for this person and you to go on this path. It's like you guys were guided. Damn. Guided to each other. You were guided to each other. Guided to each other. I don't know why. Journey. This person could have been very wealthy and... It's amazing how these cars would tell a, a, um, a story. Okay, so what I'm seeing, you guys, I'm not going to put these back because spirit does this for a reason. And yes, it is a lot, but I know they're doing this for a reason. Hold on, Lux. I'm just feeling guided to... This for a reason. This is going to be for someone. I, I strongly feel that. And they're making me put it a certain way. I'm not supposed to really look at them, but just, <coughs> excuse me, slide them in the way they tell me. Okay, you guys. Someone has a little baby girl. Like I stated before, she's not no more than three. Three or four, I'm sorry. She's between the age of three and four. And this child, I'm feeling like this is the father who's not married to the mother, who is in prison, who's gonna reach out to their new lover they're about to get ready to go to court and <clears throat> they got some news. <clears throat> I'm also feeling somebody's been stealing from someone. And, I, and for the young gentleman who's in prison, or they could be getting locked up soon in, re in regards to false allegation from the wife. <clears throat> the marriage is finna. Oh, the the wife got mad because um the husband um went and obtained a lawyer 
to sever the uh, marriage. And the thing is, this person was giving the wife the house and everything. They didn't want anything. The cars, I see this person purchasing them a new vehicle. At this particular time, they were renting a vehicle until they decide on what type of vehicle. You and that love interest could have um, thought about getting certain vehicles. Okay. Um, it's going to work out in both of these individuals' favor. They are both in despair because I'm picking up on two individuals, to be honest with you guys. But this wife thought that the husband was going to try and sell the house for some reason. I don't know why she felt that because I don't pick that up from that the husband at all. She thought that they were going to have to downsize. So this person is a very, how shall I say it, the type. I keep picking up privilege. I thought I seen privileged lady. Hold on, loves. I could have sworn. Why did I keep picking up privilege? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Privileged lady. She's the type that like the finer things in life. Now, I'm not falling for anyone for that. There's nothing wrong with that. But she wanted to be on this type of high horse. She could have lived in poverty um, at a younger age. Okay. Lived in poverty at a younger age. And um, when she was little, she would always say that she would only be with wealthy men. Okay. And she swore that she would never live in poverty ever again. Now, the thing is, the, the husband did love her at one point, but they grew apart. Um, he felt like she changed over time, okay? The marriage was dead. Because we have the coffin card here as well. And I also just channeled that this person's mom could have passed away as well. But I feel like somebody was stealing. I keep feeling like stealing. Somebody was stealing. Hold on, they're telling me to look at the bottom. Could be the woman, because this expectation. They could have a business together. Hmm. They could have a business together. That's what I'm picking up. She's feeling like because he's with you and you being the new woman in his life. And I was accidentally about to say her life. I keep picking up somebody is in a same sex relationship as well. I don't know why, but that's what I'm picking up. But somebody's heavily on another person's mind. They're very concerned about what the judge is decision is going to be and i also feel that the wife is so vindictive i feel like she's going to try something else she's going to falsify some documents is what i'm feeling and actually she's going to be the one that go to jail uh, for falsifying uh documentations with the husband's um signature and I feel like you love the one who's viewing the vi uh, the video, the messages. I feel like you're going to notice that. And the husband is not going to notice anything. Um, he's going to realize. He, he's going to be like, I know I didn't sign this. But he wasn't for sure. And you're going to notice something about the handwriting. It's, it's, it's ironic. You're going to notice something about the handwriting. Okay. <clears throat> wow. This is crazy. Let's see what else spirit. I feel like the the uh husband, the one who's married uh and was just about to serve whether the right the wife was about to be served the documentation that says that they're divorced, but somehow it didn't get to her before uh the husband was um placed in jail. But she's about to be served at court too. <laughs> the judgment served to her. Oh my goodness. She's going to be so embarrassed and angry. And I feel like she's going to laugh out in court. And the judge is going to see how she's acting. Even he himself. Because I see an old judge with silverish gray hair. And his eyebrows are very thick. I don't know that president that had very thick eyebrows too. Um, but I see that he may have a beard too. <laughs> Um, I don't know. It's just something I'm picking up too. And the, 
the love interest that's viewing this video, you guys are twins. You're twins. You're, um, you were uh, meant to reincarnate in this lifetime together. Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah. Your wish for family. It's like whatever you guys were sitting down talking about doing, it's going to come true. And it's so ironic that I always keep picking up twins and, and people coming together starting businesses because that's what I'm picking up for you guys as well. Oh, excuse me. Mm -mm. Yeah, um, your love interest who's in prison is doing a lot of reflection. This could also be you guys to the four swords. Ooh. And you guys are trying to figure out what do you want to do? What path do you want to go down? Um, this can be for anyone, okay? Whew. And this was supposed to be for divine counterparts and separate. Well, yeah, you are divine counterparts and separations because your lover is in prison. <laughs> okay, what else in regards to divine counterparts and separation? Oh, okay. Somebody could have found out that their uh, love interest. Somebody found out somebody was uh, text sexting somebody. Some of you are cheating on your lovers or found uh, found out that your lover was cheating on you. Or your lover found out you were cheating on them, of course. <laughs> some of you are doing some witchcraft, some work. Um, some of you in despair about a former lover. Yeah, some of you could be doing some work to um, protect yourself from karmics. You got the Eight of Swords again in regards to someone being in prison, but this can be somebody, um, how should I say is they're more imprisoning themselves with all the thoughts and stuff that's going on in their head about things that's going on in their lives. Could be about a lover. And somebody's doing some woot work on someone too because I have the Five of Wands and the Magician card here. So somebody's playing around with some spell work. Could be trying to keep you guys apart, <clears throat> you and your love interest apart from one another. A lot of you are choosing to uh, stay single at this time. You just don't want to entertain anyone right now. And I can understand that. <clears throat> And this could be due to somebody who's always in and out your life or thinking you're supposed to sit around and wait on their ass. Mm. Yeah, a lot of you decided to walk away from your divine counterpart. Mm. I feel like a lover, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, some type of uh, a fire sign is going to be coming towards you, loves. Now, keep in mind, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could hold that type of energy, but not necessarily be a fire sign. But they want to move away with you. I feel like I'm hearing take you and scoop you up. And here go the three of pentacles. I was saying that I kept feeling like someone is going to go into business with someone. I just heard somebody's having an affair with their business partner or an employee, or for some of you, and an employee. You could be sleeping around with both. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Anything else, Spirit, in regards to the divine counterparts and separation? So, what I'm feeling is okay, whoever has a business with someone, you. Uh, you just got found out that you're having uh, sex with your employees and your business partner as well. And I feel like some of you have a business partner who is a lover. 
you could have found out that they're having sex with an employee. This could be the CEO of a business. Yeah, the moon card at the bottom. So you're finding out a lot of stuff. Also, I feel like somebody's going to get a new car. I feel like one of your business partners is about to bless you with a car. Somebody's in the head about a lover. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And then you have Spirit and Glass, two to four, fifth divine time cards and separation. And you can mess just for the divine time of cards and separation. Thank you. Okay, for those of you who are going through a bit of despair um, due to a past lover cheating on you or leaving you out in the cold as you're feeling at this time, don't worry about it because I do feel, I kept picking up the energy of people going to, who's deciding to walk away from their twins may end up meeting a soulmate. And the reason I say may is because you have to open your heart up to want to meet someone else. And not think that everybody is the same because I don't feel that way. Even though I've been through what I've been through with my twin, I know that there's <laughs> better individuals that would not treat me the way that she's done. But I also know that everything happened for a reason. Do you see what I'm saying? And God allows you to have free will to decide if you want to reconcile with your love interest. So it has to be your decision. So if you're deciding that you want to walk away, that's your choice. There's free will, okay? Don't let anybody tell you that you shouldn't. Oh, you shouldn't go back to her or him. Girl, she dogged you out or he dogged you out. Or she made you look like a fool. Oh, she taunted you while you were at work with that chick. And you'll be stupid, this and that. Listen, those same individuals that's all in your business, Yes, you may have confided in them and wanted them to give you their opinion about situation, but sometimes loves, we have to refrain from doing stuff like that because some people just be so jealous of the connection that you do have with your twin or with whomever you're thinking about reconciling with, but they will give you bad news, bad um, opinions about stuff purposely so you won't reconcile with this person, okay? So honestly, um, I don't listen to other people. I truly don't. I don't give two fucks about what people say. Sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to like that. That was some coffee. <laughs> and I'm trying my best to stop using fence. I'm sorry. But I wouldn't be so gun ho and listening or even divulging stuff to anyone and let me, anybody know y'all personal business anymore. Talk to God. If you're not into talking to God, talk to the universe, the Holy Spirit. To me, the Holy Spirit, hey, same thing to me is God. But my thing is, keep your personal business to yourself because there are so many people out here that you think are your friends or your, your, your family members that really love you and want to see the best for you in your love interest or whomever you choose to be with. They're not all cracked up to be. I'm telling you, a lot of people put it on a facade. They just want to know what your business is so they can go back and tell your enemies. Or chit chat with your family members or other friends or your frenemies and tell them what's going on in your life, okay? Listen to your heart. Follow your heart. That's what I'm, I'm going to say. Just follow your heart. What is it that you truly want? Do you want to reconcile with this person? Do you believe that this person did certain things for a reason? Do you believe that the Holy Spirit, the universe, Father God, Place these things in your path to teach you a lesson that you didn't learn in your past life? Or is it meant for you and God is trying to show you, listen, just like he said to me, listen, Tasha, what is it that you want? What is it that you want? Do you want her back? Have you forgiven her from your heart? God will ask you this, but he already know the answer, Okay. What is it that you truly want? Because it's your choice. It's not God's choice. It's your choice. God gives us free will to make that choice of what it is that we feel will make us happy, even though he knows what would be better suited for us and who would be better suited for us. And God knows certain things happen for a reason because he placed and allowed certain things to take place 
to put us where we're supposed to be on our path, but we have to decide to make a decision what is best for us. So please stop telling people your business. If that's the case, you might as well go pay for a psychiatrist, okay? At least you know your business ain't going to be going up all over the place and everybody named mama know your business. So loves make your own choices. Also, I'm feeling that um, there is some type of conflict and uh, how shall I say this? Like a lot of gossip that's going to be going on around about you and your love interest. Somebody could be spreading rumors, saying things like, oh, she's stupid or he's stupid. He took her back after she don't lit his car on fire. Um, after she put something in the gas tank. Um, after she don't bust his windows and he took her ass back. He dumb. Or she dumb. Um, she done cheated on her multiple times. Went back and forth with exes and stuff. And all of them doing witchcraft on her. And and she did it too. And her dumper went back to her. You, don't worry about all that stuff. <laughs> you guys, be your own discernment, yes. Don't let nobody continue to um, work you like a poppet. Be on your own discernment, Okay. Pay attention to things. Yes, people make mistakes. Yes, many of us know why that they do the things they do because of things that they've been through when they were younger. Things that your divine counterpart think you don't know, but you do. And you're not going to throw that in their face. You're not judging them. Yes, it hurt for the things that they've done, things that they said, how they treated you with the karmics. But some, I'm telling you, you have to have that forgiving heart because how can you not forgive yourself for allowing certain things to happen? Because keep in mind, it takes two. You got to take a part in certain things too. You know why? Because you kept going back and allowing that person to continue to do the same thing over and over again instead of just shutting it down like, no, <laughs> let me let them go and do whatever the fuck that is they need to do to feel superior or whatever it is that they're seeking. Let them go out and do their thing. And you keep it moving. There are a lot of good men and women out here. I don't believe everybody is the same. I don't. We're all different. We all are uniquely, divinely guided by the universe, by the Holy Spirit, by God. Unless you're practicing something else, okay? I truly believe people do make mistakes. And I truly believe people can change. I don't care what none of y'all say. Y'all can leave a little stupid comments in there if you want, but I do truly believe people can change because some people went through so many things that others don't know about, loves. And y'all have to understand that it's, you may have went through similar things as your divine counterpart, but the thing is, you're different from your divine counterpart, if you know what I mean. They have their way of healing or going through things to cope with what they went through. This is why a lot of them do what they do. So you have to allow them the time they need to heal, to ascend, you know? So it's nothing you can do but to continue to send them unconditional love. And that's how I see it. And forgive the karmics as well. You know, everybody been through stuff. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> I'm not here to judge nobody, but I just always pray for everybody, even a karmic, because you never know what they've been through also to make them the way that they are. I just honestly, I hate to see people sad. I hate to to see people feel like they are not worthy of love. I don't like seeing people cry. I just, it, it sometimes it's really hard being an empath to be honest. And sometimes it's a good thing because you can tell like to a degree of certain other people like what they truly feel. You know, I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> I'm going to just have to leave it at that. <laughs> just be in your own discernment as well, okay? Also, I feel like somebody's about to have a download. Um, I feel like your gifts is about to heighten. And I don't know why it's like... I keep feeling like you're going to keep seeing some birds whether it's ravens, crows, or, or doves, whether it's in your sleep or you notice that they're following you, they're giving you downloads and they're trying to help you balance yourself and for some to teach you how to balance yourself. Because I, it's, this is the Queen of Cups. 
And with different decks, the Queen of Cups look different. And here it's like she's trying to balance on this. It's like a, what do they call these things? A bulldoze. It looked like a bulldoze and she's in the middle of the sea, right? And you know how things, if they're not strong or sturdy, you're going to wobble and fall over into, into the lake or stream or um, an ocean or what have you. But the two cups on the side on this octopus coming out of the water they're trying to balance teach her how to balance and you have the bird right here near her crown chakra it's like they're giving her downloads on how to do this how to balance herself how to balance her life in general okay i do feel that's what's going to take place with you guys I got um, three of swords at the bottom of the deck here. So somebody really are going through a heartbreak over their uh, divine love interest. And then have another card, please. Another message for the collective. If I can count and separate, thank you. Sometimes you ask spirit for one card and they give you a few more. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so a lot of your divine counterparts are going to be coming in. Um, some, I always keep picking up that they want to come and gift you something. <laughs> and I did get that in uh, another deck as well. They're going to be gifting you. It can be monetary. It can be literally a physical gift. And I'm also here in a car. Um, somebody wants to gift their love interest a car. They want to give you recognition as well. And I do feel like this is a past love because it's the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So they're coming in to um, give you the recognition that you always wanted. And this past love, it could be a childhood um, childhood friend, childhood uh, lover. Excuse me. Um, could be a, a fire sign. Could be a fire sign. Could be an earth sign. Or this person can have fire and earth in their, their chart. You know what? Let's see how your love interest is feeling about you at this time. Okay, Holy Spirit, how are <clears throat> my divine counterparts who's viewing the videos love interest currently feeling about them? Whoa. Current, okay. Currently feeling about them at this time. How are they feeling? What's going on overall? I know I've seen that, you guys. Let me get that because the last time I forgot to pull it out. I know I've seen something. Flip. Okay, there we go. Oh, somebody's awakening. And you guys, it's ironic too because I've always told you guys, like, I would go through these decks. Call myself going through them thoroughly and there's always one or two that end up being in another deck. And I always know that's for a reason. So I never throw them out. So, you know, some readers may do that. Um, that's, I'm sorry. <laughs> My nose is itching. Um, that lets me know that I'm on point two. But your divine counterpart is saying the fact that I'm so comfortable with you scared me. So whatever it is that you guys have, it's a strong connection. I was just about to say another profanity, <laughs> another curse word. <laughs> you guys have a very strong connection. And this person is going through a, a very strong spiritual awakening. I also feel like a lot of you are going to start having uh, telepathy uh, messages from your divine counterpart. It's their way of escaping and trying to connect with you. A lot of them could be um, actually lurking on your page, observing you. They're feeling numb, not being around you. They feel like they were in denial for such a long time about your connection. And they've been getting possible downloads as well about insight about your connection and they're truly starting to now acknowledge the connection that you guys have oh wow somebody's blackmailing them and it could be the karmic the karmic is blackmailing many of your divine counterparts and i feel like you guys know this some of them could be sending messages via uh subliminal um via social media and you're going on the page and noticing this and like, wait a minute, are they sending you messages? They are. They are indeed sending you messages like. Yeah, they're trying to give you some clarity without the karmic norm. The karmic is blackmailing them, trying to control them. Because we have a control card, blackmail card. And I feel like this karmic is observing you as well. So be very mindful what you're putting on social media 
whether you're trying to communicate with your divine counterpart, but they're trying to give you clarity and they do truly admire you and what you're doing with your life at this time. <clears throat> the karmic is being very, uh, feeling very antsy and insecure. Can you know the just for my divine counterparts and separation for the viewers? Whether they're divine counterparts thinking and feeling at this time or whether they're going through spirit. <clears throat> Let's see what the message is. Oh, they're feeling intimidated, loves. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Oh, spirit. Oh, okay. They need your help, loves. They need and want your help. And they're trying to figure out how to give you um how to give you messages. And I'm feeling like the only way they they feel they can do it is uh via telepathy. Telepathically. Oh, they're very nervous. See, Spirit just gave us a few of them. They're very nervous about this connection, but they're fully awake of it. Fully awake of what's taking place. I just heard they know also about the karmic doing uh, root work on them too. They're relieved that they found this out. They're in the process of recovering from it. Found ways to fight it. Oh shit, I don't know if I should have said that. Ugh. Usually when... Channelings come through. I see it immediately after I received it, but I'm going to have to start trying to hone into that thinking before I speak because some stuff is not meant to come out. And I feel that they'll find a way to tell you guys. And I feel like that shouldn't come out. Ugh. Damn. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, these are. Um... Oh, Lord. I don't know if I should say this either, but. I'm going to let you guys decipher what I'm going to say. There's a facade here, and I'll allow you to pick up on that yourself. Let me tell you what's here, okay? We might say that they're recovering. There's facade here, annoyed and threatened. So, the karmic feels very threatened by you guys. She's lurking. He go lurking at the bottom, and so is your divine counterpart, okay? I... I want you guys to pick because I know spirit allow me to catch myself, but it's something I'm not supposed to say. So I want you guys to pick that up on your own. So we have recovering facade, annoyed and threatened. Okay. You guys have to decipher without me having to say that. Okay. Um, because I don't feel I should say that. And I feel like spirit is reframing me from saying that. So you have to pick up on it yourself. Love. That's just for the uh, divine counterparts and separation. And we have a message for the divine counterparts and separation of spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you. Spirit, any other messages for the divine counterparts and separation? Hold on, y'all. Just shoving a little bit more. I feel like they want me to shuffle. Hold on. Yeah, they're confused about how they're going to go about doing this. And they're uh, trying to seek justice for, it, for what this karmic did. They're very sad, sad and confused, but it's hard. This was in reverse accepting. So it's very hard for them to accept what this, that they've been uh, swindled. I feel like the comic has stolen from them and I picked that up previously before too. And how they feel so bad that they were in such denial about what this comic is doing behind closed doors. And they're trying to seek other ways of taking care of this situation, okay? We just got a few cards that jumped out. Give me a moment, you guys. Let's see. Yeah, they need you. They're feeling very guarded. Relieved, but yet guarded in regards to um, the karmic. Feeling lost. Many of them feel very lost. Hmm. And some of them are very, very confident. Like, <laughs> she thinks she, he or she thinks they're going to get away with this, but they're not. Oh, they're going to make sure you get the recognition, and they're going to make sure the karmic sees it. 
They're going to make sure you get the recognition that you deserve. And they want you to pay attention to signs because signs are reversed. And, and to me, from what I'm picking up intuitively, that you guys are not picking up the signs. Pay attention to the signs. I'm also being told to tell you guys to pay attention to your surroundings, that this karma could be coming by your home or sending people by your home. Pay attention to cars that you know haven't been around your home. They, they, when they meet you, they feel like they're going to be very embarrassed. And they're trying, they're remembering, we are remembering at the bottom of the deck that they're remembering a lot of things that you guys have been through on this journey. Anything else? Like, for like this mm. they, I picked this up also that these karmics are very verbally, mentally, physically and spiritually abusive to um, your divine counterparts. Very much so. But everything that they're dishing out, they really don't understand that they're putting a generational curse on their kids. Because many of these, these karmics have um, kids. Some they have and some they do not have. But they're, put, they're placing generational curses on their kids. And they don't realize it. They think that they're protected. Like they could be doing uh, ritual uh, protection spells. But it's not going to protect their kids. And it's going to trickle down not only to their kids, their kids' kids. And if their parents are alive, some of them could be dying of illnesses. And they're thinking it's just natural causes, but it's not. It's their karma because of what they've done. They're, um, now your, um, your uh, love interest is being very cautious of what they do, how they do it. They're trying to make sure they're not being distracted. They're growing. They're growing spiritually too. Some of them was um, very in tune. Also, I can feel that they um, they were able to uh, read people's auras. They can actually, some can actually look at people and uh, scan a person's body and see illnesses. And they will make a little... Um, how do you say spirit? They will make uh, little comments around people that they see is ill and they knew how they can heal themselves. And they would make things, oh, you ever thought about eating more green this or doing smoothies this way? But it was their way of telling them to do that to heal themselves without people knowing that they, they know that they were ill. Or telling them they need to go get tested because you look sickly or you look tired. Maybe you should go get you a physical and then that person will find out that they are sickly. Uh, the, the twins. <laughs> if you guys are dating someone, I'm picking up on somebody's twin very jealous. I'm also picking up that the Carmen is very jealous too. Very jealous of the connection because they know that your connection with your divine counterpart is very passionate. And they know that it was just sex when it came to them. And the comics are very sad. Some of them are actually very ashamed of some of the things that they've done. Ironically. But I, I here go conflict. I feel like there's going to be some type of altercation. I feel like the your divine counterpart and the karmic are both have been having crying still. What does she have a divine counterpart in separation? Oh my God, look you guys crying. Aww. I told you guys, your divine counterpart and the karma have been having crying spells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on, let me check and make sure nothing else um, flipped over you guys before I start shuffling again. Yeah, I knew some too, okay. Yeah, your love interest is trying to make um, a conclusion of how things is going to go out. It's not that many of them are trying to be in control of things, but they want to make certain that you get the justice that you deserve. And they're going to make these karmics suffer for what they've done to you guys. And when I say suffer, I mean suffer. They're going to really give back at these karmics for the shit, the foolery, the fuckery that they've done. Excuse my language, but your divine counterparts are livid. When I say livid, I mean piss, 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 piss. And I'm telling y'all, they finna bust these comics like there's no other. They finna really ham, go ham on them. They finna make their ass. Some of them, they gonna make sure they go to jail too. And these comics think they're gonna get away with it. 
They know that these karmics are sending evil eye to you and to your businesses. They've been um, actually meditating, getting downloads, and getting guidance from the Holy Spirit. I also heard somebody's getting downloads and messages from their mom who passed away recently. I'm hearing within two years. There's something finna, something's finna uh, blow up, you guys. I mean, literally like a um, tower moment. It's finna be big. And somebody really found out that somebody stole. Somebody just stole some, uh, somebody's wallet. Or somebody's wallet got snatched. Um, they're telling me something in here is meant for you. So pay attention to the end. Mm. Okay, somebody had a sugar daddy and you just stole their wallet. Um... They're actually going to report you and you're going to be uh, being arrested. And you, uh, if I were you, I'll go ahead and find um, a babysitter. You have a, I'm hearing a little girl. You need to uh, get a babysitter for your for your daughter. I feel like you're going to be locked up over past the weekend until Monday or Tuesday is when I'm being told. Somebody has a lover that's in bad health. Hmm. I'm going to just to pull this here. There's a lot of gossip going on. I know the messages. I feel like this person who has a sugar daddy who actually stole this person's wallet. Uh, some of your friends know who this person is and the person is going to uh, see somebody by accident and tell what happened. Somebody needs to do a cleansing. Uh, somebody... Um, is concerned about being on the street, getting evicted from out of someone's home, or this may have happened already. Somebody's um, getting a mess up concern in regards to an STD or STI. And I think I did say that somebody need to cleanse because you have a cleansing card here. You need to cleanse spiritually. <clears throat> Excuse me, Lux. Holy Spirit, they do a message for the collective of divine sacrifice and separation, please. Any more messages for the divine? Uh oh. Any more? Oh, yeah. You guys are going to find out you got some fake friends. Any more messages for the divine counterparts and separation? Somebody's. Any more messages for the divine counterparts and separation? Thank you, sweet. Ugh. Let's see. Sorry, you guys. I hate when they're all over, but when the messages be fooling like that. Somebody's about to have a nervous breakdown and they're going to start seeing a psychiatrist. <clears throat> Excuse me. Somebody has a friend as a psychiatrist. Be mindful what you tell this person, even though they legally bound um, not to tell. I feel like they're going to slip and tell somebody something. Um, what does this say in my, uh, my ex used to say pillow talk. And they're not supposed to say anything. And this person's going to put two and two together and they're going to know who it is. So a lot of you are going to find out you don't have no, you don't have friends. Uh, a lot of your friends are putting on facades around you. They really want to see your downfall. They're gossiping about your personal business. They got someone house hunting. House hunting. <laughs> um, somebody is going to be suing their landlord. And somebody has a money hungry individual in their energy. Somebody's about to be terminated. Somebody's about to sue their um, sue their place or a former place of employment who wrongfully uh, terminated them. Somebody is going to really go ham on somebody because I keep picking up some type of serious altercation, you guys, and, and it was a, it's a bad one. I keep picking up altercation, altercation. I know the message is going to come up this way. I just heard somebody's about to get slapped and slapped hard. And this person's going to leave some type of fingerprints, like a whip on their face. Is there any more messages for the collector? Any fake co-worker? What is going on? Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Any more messages for the collector? Any more messages for the collector? This step card keep coming. Mm. Somebody's doing some root work on somebody. 
to cause havoc in your life. And it's ironic that the negative spells dropped on the evil eye. So this person is trying to cause havoc in your life. Somebody's getting found out that they stole. This is the what the second or third time from a third. Is it the third or fourth deck about theft? Okay. Something's about to blow up, you guys, and it's going to be bad. I see altercations with ex-lovers and karmics like a physical brawl okay and i feel like somebody's actually planning this out with other individuals but the um hmm. loves let me just tell y'all this have y'all phones uh, available like literally in your hand when you feeling something's off follow your gut instinct okay your phone is going to be your best friend let me repeat that because i'm being told not to say this okay everything is going to work out in your favor your phone is your best friend keep your phone charged okay your phone is your best friend decipher what i just said to you being your own discernment of what i just said to you don't back down from nobody Okay, don't back down from nobody because you're gonna have people coming for you left and right. I feel like these karmics is trying to set you up to go in, um to have some type of brawl with them to entice you to fight them, but it's gonna work out in your favor. So just take heed to what I just said, okay? Someone is about to get kicked out. This just came out again. Okay. So you are um advice for the collective. The divine kind of and separation. I feel like somebody's twin is trying to warn them that the karmic is trying to set them up the fight. And here it is. Look at this. Manipulation. Manipulation. Somebody's getting treated like a rag doll. They're controlling somebody for root work. I'm telling y'all, something's and manipulation is still at the bottom of the, the deck. Wow. But it's not gonna go in this person's favor. There's a lot of people going to be going to jail, you guys, and doing some time. I just heard 10 years for somebody. Whew. Somebody worried about their reputation. We have worried about your reputation at the bottom of the deck. Booha again, witchcraft, betrayal. Wow. These comments are, look at that. Oh my God, love. I told you. I just think it's at the bottom of the deck. I seen Booha. At the bottom of the deck, too. This karmic is more worried about their reputation. They're afraid that your um, divine counterpart is going to um, tell their personal business, which your divine counterpart is going to tell you what this karmic was up to, the things that they've done. And um, somebody has uh, could have started a business. The business could have severed with, between you and a business partner. And this other person is going, uh, taking a leap of faith and starting their own business, which is going to be somewhat similar to the business that you guys had. But they're going to feel like you're their competitor now. So whatever y'all had, they're going to actually do something to hype up theirs. And I feel like somebody's going to be sued in regards to something that was created. Because we have the disclaimer... Um, out and I keep picking up something about sewing and a, a business partner too in, in regards to a business partner. Somebody paying somebody to do a spell to set someone up to go to jail but it's going to backfire. They said it's going to backfire. Okay, love. Oh, excuse me. You guys need to release a lot of energy because they have me belching like crazy. Oh my God, loves. Somebody's going to win the lottery. I seen this when I was shuffling, but it was like hiding. So what I'm hearing too, it's ironic, okay? What I'm hearing too, if you guys win the lottery, be mindful who you tell. Because when I seen this, it was like this. And I, and I know what it was because the L was showing and I knew it was the lottery. So Spirit is telling me to tell you guys. Uh, be mindful who you tell when you um, win this lottery. I would keep it to myself, to be honest. You and here go a fake business partner. Y'all need to be careful who y'all going into business with, because you never know what people are really up to or telling people your business plans. Anything else for the collective? 
Nine of Hearts and Separation Spirit. I feel like somebody's been to be finna be put on someone's um somebody's divine counterpart. Oh wow. Oh my god, look at this. Investigation. Oh, love. Okay, listen. Somebody's divine counterpart who has a business or possibly multiple businesses with a karmic. You guys, that's going to be a big blowout, an investigation. When I say dragged in the court system, your divine counterpart is going to have to take this karmic to court. They don't care about the business. They're going to let them have the business. All they want is they name off of some deeds and give it all to her or him. And the courts are going to, um, the court is going to approve that decision to do so. But I feel like this karmic is up to something. There's going to be something to get the, 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 the karmic is going to try and get the, your divine counterpart in some deep shit. Um, I'm hearing money laundering. Um, what else it was? Dang it. It was just there. I should have just said it how, what it had came to me. But there's going to be a major investigation, some type of big blowout. And I also feel the karma is going to try and set the divine counter, your divine counterpart up to fight them. I feel like they're affiliated with the law. Somebody's affiliated with the law and they know that they can't have no type of domestic. And I feel like if this haven't already happened, they're going to try to get them to attack them and record them somewhere. They're going to have somebody record it or they're going to set up something in their home if they're still living together so that the um, the uh, Carmen can have it um, recorded, audio and video, to have this person go to prison so they can clean house and everything um, is theirs because naturally most of them are married or in some type of business contract arrangement, okay? So whoever you are and you view this, whether you have divine counterpart, I suggest you be very careful, okay, with this karma. This karma is up to no good. And she has friends that you know about too. I advise you to leave um, that place if you're still living with this karmic. You got to cover your ass, okay? Spirit is saying cover your ass, okay? Wow. You might already be looking or already have moved out and moved into your own place because we have this card here. Um... I feel like you're about to reach out to the divine feminine, like soon, like ASAP. I, I feel within the next three to four days. I feel a, a lot of you love interest that's viewing this message. Your divine counterpart is about to reach out to you. What is today? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I would say by Monday or Tuesday at the latest. Okay. Do not put it in the comments, you guys. It's nobody fucking business. Okay. Excuse my language. I'm working on that. Okay. Do not put that in the comments. You, you don't know who's watching, who's going through all these readers trying to see if you're uh, making comments so they'll see um, who you resonate with. Because usually when people comment on um, readers page, that's why I be cautious about what reader um, I vibe with <clears throat> and who I, uh, I may subscribe to the channel, but I won't, I gotta be cautious of what I put or either put a different, do a different um, uh, name as far as the subscriber because you don't want people to know, you know, that karma, because you know the karmas be lurking, you know, they be trying to see who you resonate with so they can pick up on what messages you're getting so they know to be 10 steps ahead of you. But everything's in a, in a full, <laughs> like there's no other. I mean, these karmas is going to have a major tire moment, you guys, okay? So keep yourself printed up and, and um, your protection up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like somebody's divine counterpart is going to be like, um, oh wow, they could have been messing with an escort. And they thought this person was their friend. They got a lot of toxic family members. Yep, here go to uh, physical altercation here. They know that this comic is uh, trying to plot something. Yep. Yep, they're trying to throw obstacles in your way. You and your divine counterparts are on way. Okay. Any more messages for the divine counterparts and separation spirit? Thank you so much. Any more messages for the divine counterpart? Thank you. 
Some of y'all getting readings already. Okay, I don't care if it's not even for me or for somebody else, but if this coming out, you could be seeking or thinking about getting a reading. I just heard, I want a reading from you. This so resonates. So hit me up, okay? I just heard you say that. I just heard you say this, uh, all this shit just resonated with me. What the fuck? I just heard you say that. Uh, love, you can reach out to me, okay? Reach out to me at spirituallygifted777 at gmail.com, okay? Do not use your personal email, love. Make up a, a different uh, email account. All I need is your first name. I don't need no date of birth or anything like that, okay? It's either you can have a general reading or you can, uh, if there's specific questions you want me to look into, uh, just let me know. I feel like a lot of you have some uh, opportunities ahead because opportunities at the bottom here. Yeah, he got argument again and obstacles about money. Yeah, this plunge shit, Nick. I just, I already have shuffled this. Wow. Yeah, you guys need to be careful. Um, there's a lot going on. They call escort again. This, this, a lot of these karmas could be escorts or your divine counterpart met them as if they was an escort. Well, they could be an escort now, selling their bodies to um, pay their bills. Like, they used to your divine counterpart paying their bills. Mm-hmm. Here it's still here. I'm gonna mess with you. Oh, that one's gonna come out. I already felt that. Yep. Both of them are stalking you guys, okay? They're keeping a close eye on you, and I keep picking up heavily that this karmic found out where many of you live. You could have received a phone call from someone asking you. Um, questions trying to see if this is that's you, that's your right number. They may know someone who has um, who works for the same um, mobile carrier it, that you use because you know, you guys, if they can find your phone number, they can put in the system and see what carrier you use and like befriend somebody, you know, and end up using them to get your personal information, find out where you live at, get them a little money on the side, you know. Um, money talk bullshit walks. You know what I'm saying? They could be using this person to get personal information so they can find out where you live at, watch you, see what time you be leaving, what time you come back. They could be paying people to watch you. I feel like your love interest is stargazing too, you guys. We just had stargazing at the bottom of the deck. You know the mess just for the divine kind of person separation. Hey, go to STD and STI again. Oh, you guys, be careful who you out there because they go caution right along with it, y'all. And it was like this, but over here. So someone is trying to keep, um, an STD from you. They're going to be afraid. I feel like a lot of your divine counterparts have some type of STD or STI. Some is, I feel all diseases, viruses are curable. I'm, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I feel that. Because some people feel, no, that's not curable. Yes, it is. Anything these days is curable, okay? I truly believe that in my heart. There are herbs, holistic herbs for everything. It's all about you mixing the right things together to cure it and us finding out what those are. Y'all better do y'all research, okay? But somebody's going to feel they need to keep that secret from you. So even if your divine counterpart comes back, returns in your life, do not have sex with them. I'm here and don't even kiss them, okay? Get tested if you decide that you want to be back with them, if you want to reconcile. Because caution is here, STI, STD, and obstacle, okay? The Holy Spirit is telling you to be very careful. Be on your own discernment. That's all I can tell y'all. That's all I can tell y'all. Let's see what um, messages y'all have. And they're telling you you are seeing the situation accurately. So whatever you're feeling is correct, okay? Holy Spirit, send it masters. Are there any other messages for the collective divine counterparts and separation, please? Send the masters for the divine counterparts and separation, please. Did I? No, I think. <laughs> Whoa, look, you 
guys. <laughs> Y'all see me shuffling. Look, you are seeing the situation accurately. The eye of Horus, pretty much. <laughs> Ascended masters. Are there any other um, messages for the divine counterparts and separation case? That one. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God. You guys need to um, heal your energy. What? Some of you need to go sun gazing. Some may actually like to uh, sit up under the moon on a balcony, I'm hearing. Need to monitor your health, things that you're eating, drinking. I'm feeling more water too, but anyhow. Uh, retreat into nature. I'm hearing also that you guys should walk barefoot. Okay. Yoga. You know they got a lot of um yoga um gurus on YouTube. And they're telling you the send message is telling you to follow your heart. Don't listen to what other motherfuckers are telling you. Follow your heart. Okay, I send a message. Any other messages for the divine kind of price and separation, please? Ooh. Let them fall. Mm -hmm. Yep, energy healing again. teacher a lot of you are really teaching you're teaching or becoming a teacher going to school for teaching they're telling you to work in magic pure intentions i just heard pure intentions i know that's for someone they're telling you the center master telling you to stay focused balance career and home life 